Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you, we worship you. We give you all the glory. We give you the adoration, bringing us before you. Lord, let your name be praised in Jesus' name. Here we are this evening to be revived by your spirit and for you to bless our lives. Lord, I am praying that you would do so in our lives in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I pray. I will clap my hands and praise the Lord. I will clap my hands and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. I will clap my hands and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I will clap my hands and worship my King. I will clap my hands and praise the Lord. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above all heavens. Let your glory be above all the earth. Let your glory be above all the earth. O Lord, be thou exalted, O Lord, above all all heavens be thou exalted O lord above all heavens let your glory be above all the earth let your glory be above all the earth amen hallelujah glory be to god emmanuel emmanuel Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. Glory be to God. Emmanuel. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. Glory be to God in the highest, amen. For his mercies endure it forever, amen. For his mercies endure it forever, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In the highest, amen. For his mercies endure it forever, amen. For his mercies endure it forever, amen. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever. He's alive, amen. Amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever, he's alive, amen. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Jesus is alive forever, he's alive, amen. He's alive, amen. He's alive. Our Savior is alive forever, he's alive, amen. All the way to Calvary he went. For me, Jesus went for you. Jesus went for us. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died to set us free. Glory, hallelujah. He went for me. Jesus went for me. Savior went for me. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died to set me free. Glory, hallelujah. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. Jesus went for me. Savior went for me. All the way to Calvary, he went for me. He died to set me free. Eternal life, eternal life. I want to live eternally. God save my soul. I want to live eternally. God save my soul. Eternal life, eternal life. I want to live eternally. God save my soul. 
I want to live eternally. God saved my soul. Eternal life. Eternal life. I want to live eternally. God saved my soul. I can't live eternally. God saved my soul. God saved my soul. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know, to know my Savior died for me. My sins were washed away. Hallelujah. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know, to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful, wonderful to know. It is wonderful to know that Jesus died for me. Wonderful to know. Hallelujah, 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 amen, glory, glory, glory to the Father, amen, glory, glory, glory to the Son. Glory, glory, glory to the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, I am free. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, I am free. For the blood of the Lamb is my ransom. I am free, free. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, I am free. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, I am free. For the blood of the Lamb is my ransom. I am free, free, free. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. We have come unto thee, O Lord. We will never go the same. He will fill my heart today to overflowing. As the Lord commanded me, bring your vessels out of you. He will fill your heart today to overflowing with the Holy Ghost and Holy Ghost and power. To overflowing as the Lord commanded me, bring your vessels out of you. He will fill your heart today to overflowing with the Holy Ghost and Holy Ghost and power. As the Lord commanded me, bring your vessels out the field. He will fill your heart today for flowing with the Holy Ghost and power. Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah, Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. Afternoon and evening, Abraham's blessings are mine. 
Hallelujah. Abraham's blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am blessed in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. God is not dead. He's alive. God is not dead. He's alive. God is not dead. He's alive. I feel him in my heart. I feel him in my soul. I feel him in all over me. Hallelujah. God is not dead. He's alive. Yes, God is not dead. He is alive. God is not dead. He's alive. I feel him in my heart. I feel him in my soul. I feel him in all over me. When I go with the Lord Jesus into any battle, I am a winner. With the Lord Jesus into any battle. When I go with the Lord Jesus into any battle, I am a winner. Into any battle, I am a winner, winner, oh, I am a winner, winner, oh, oh, winner, oh, I am a winner, 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 I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus into any battle, I am a winner. With the Lord Jesus into any battle, I am a winner. When I go with the Lord Jesus into any battle, I am a winner. Into any battle, I am a winner. Winner, oh, winner, oh, winner, oh, I am a winner. Winner, oh, winner, oh, I am a winner. Winner, oh. We know oh, I am a winner, we know oh. He's able, abundantly able to deliver and to save. He's able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him and trust in him. Abundantly able to deliver and to save. He's able, abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him and trust in him. Able, abundantly able, able to deliver. And to save, our God is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in him. Jesus shall reign forever, amen. Jesus shall reign forever, amen. In my life, I assure you, Jesus shall reign forever, Amen, amen. Jesus shall reign forever. Amen. Jesus shall reign forever. Amen. In our lives, we assure thee, Jesus shall reign forever. Amen. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he healed the leper. When the people saw him, they started walking. Even tonight, our God will do us good, will do us good. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. The mighty healer, he healed the leper. When the people saw him, they started walking. Even tonight, my God will do his good, do you good. Anywhere he went, he was doing good. 
a mighty healer. He healed the leper. When the people saw him, they started moving. Even tonight, my God will do it good. Power, power, beyond the sky, ah, set me free. Beyond the sky, ah, set me free. Beyond the sky, ah, set me only cause power. Ah, set me free, power, power, beyond the sky. Ah, set me free, anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. Anointing breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. By the anointing, Jesus breaks the yoke, anointing breaks the yoke. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I tell the devil, get thee behind me, victory today is mine. What about you? Amen. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I tell the devil, get thee behind me. Victory today is mine. Dominion is mine. Dominion is mine. Dominion today is mine. I tell the devil, get thee behind me. Dominion today is mine. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. What about you? It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. Hallelujah. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. Hallelujah. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. Hallelujah. It is well, it is well, it is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with my soul today. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the living word. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the living word. Oh, I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the living word. Oh, I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the living word. The word of God is power. I word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. The word of God is power. I stand upon the word of God. I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior. I know, yes, I know, I know, I know that Jesus is my Savior.
close your eyes and raise your hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you tonight. It's a blessed day. It's a wonderful day for every sister and for every brother, for every daughter and for every son, and for our invitees. Oh, Lord, I pray tonight will be a night of miracle. It will be a night of power. It will be a night of release. And you will set your people free in Jesus' name. The anointing that breaks the yoke. The assurance that brings salvation and brings healing and brings deliverance. Oh Lord, pour it upon your people in Jesus' name. Wipe their tears away. Take their sorrows away. Change every life. And for those who are blessed already, add to their blessing. Multiply their blessing. Everyone Lord, here today, I pray that nobody will go empty-handed. And for our brothers and sisters and sons and daughters, everywhere that they are linking up with us here, let the miracles flow. Let the anointing flow. Let the power flow to everyone in Jesus' name. Confirm the joy of the Lord in every life. I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. You can sit down. I'm so happy to be with you today because God is going to give you something. That's all, amen. Yeah. We're looking at Matthew chapter 16. Matthew chapter 16. And I'm reading from verse 19. It says, And I give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever, and whatsoever, Thou shalt bind on the earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. Whenever we read the Bible, there are many ways of reading the Bible. Number one, read the Bible like a message. The almighty God, the creator of the heavens and the earth that he wrote to you. Personally. And when you read this, imagine you are in the presence of the Almighty God and He calls you, He calls you by name and He says, Come. And He says, I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Talking to you personally. Don't think it's talking to that man, talking to that woman. You read it in, in that way. And He says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. The keys that will open the door. Doors are opening before you. The keys that will lock the door. Anything that is coming from anywhere and that thing is no good, it will close the door today. And it says, I give you that key. And it's the key of the kingdom. Now, imagine that kingdom. Imagine it's a territory. Imagine it's a house and it has all treasures. Everything you need when God created you. He knew what you will need. You will need this and this and this and this. And everything is inside that room that is called the kingdom. But since you were born, you know that that door, you couldn't get anything. You didn't know how to go in. It says, come. You need the key. And the key only comes from me. And he says, I give you the key. The keys of the kingdom. And he says, with this key, this is a master key. I said, it's a master key. This one is the kingdom key. And he said, whatsoever you bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth, it is loosed in heaven. You read the Bible as if God himself spoke to you and he said this is what i'm giving you read the bible another way read the bible like somebody in front of you like me now like i give you the word like you know me personally like i know you personally and then i called you and i said you need something what you need is inside a room there and i say i give you the key Somebody there, you are getting the key today. Somebody there has the key. I said somebody there has the key. Something will happen to you. And he says, 
imagine God is calling you tonight and he said, mention your name now. He says, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And then it says, when you have that key, whatsoever, my life has changed. Whatsoever, my destiny has changed. Whatsoever, my poverty has gone. Whatsoever, barrenness has gone. Whatsoever, attack has gone. It depends on what you want and what you say. Because I give you the key. I've got the key. I said I've got the key. And whatsoever, whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, who is he talking to? I said who is he talking to? And whatsoever you lose on earth, you will lose something today. That thing that tied you is today we're losing that thing. That thing that tied your wife, we're losing that thing today. That thing that, look at that child. The child that is in prison there and the child in captivity there, tonight we're losing that thing. And that thing that blocked your promotion and blocked your work and blocked your progress, you try to go, they close the door. Thank God today, somebody there. I said somebody there. You have the key. I said you have the key. You will open that door. You will open that door. That devil will be bound in your life. That sickness will be healed in your life. That prosperity will float your life. Something good is coming your way. Your family will change. If you are living inside a place where we cannot call a house, you are coming out of that place because God is going to give you a mansion. Something, it will be different in your life. This year, I'm going to remind you again, this year is going to be the best year you ever lived in your life. Because it says, behold, I give a key to you tonight. And whatsoever... And whatsoever you open here, it's opened in heaven. Whatever you lose here, is loosed in heaven. Sister, you have a miracle already. Because it's coming to you. We, we can decide it here. We can finalize it here. We say it here, it's confirmed in heaven. We announce it here, it's proclaimed in heaven. Angels are rejoicing because of you already. I'm talking to you tonight on the believer's key of authority and power. The believer's key of authority and power. There's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. I said there's a believer there. Where's the believer there? You have that key tonight. The believer's key of authority and power. Read this again and I will give unto thee. The keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever. Everybody say whatsoever. Say whatsoever. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my life. Whatsoever in my place of work. Whatsoever in my family. Whatsoever in my spiritual life. And whatsoever, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven look at chapter 18 verse 18 chapter 18 we're looking at verse 18 18 18 verily verily i say unto you whatsoever whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven you see that whatsoever that removes limit from it because it's not just this little thing because your life will expand tonight your life will grow tonight you are moving forward tonight satan does not have the final say in your life say it for yourself now satan does not have the final say in my life i cannot sit down here and be saying they will not allow me they will not allow me hey don't you have the key? I give you the key. Christian, don't you have the key? I have the key. Don't you have the key? And he says, I give you the keys of the kingdom. And instead of sitting down there and complaining, they didn't allow me to go in. Hey, get up now and open this door because whatever you lose on earth in your life, that thing is loosed in heaven. 
nobody will make you barren. Nobody will make you poor. Nobody can put a curse on you and be permanent. Because that curse tonight, we're going to remove it. That affliction tonight, we're going to remove it. Whatsoever, whatsoever, thou shalt lose on earth, is loosed in heaven. Whatever you want for yourself, whatever you want for yourself, tonight, tonight, you are getting it. I said tonight, you are getting it. There are three things I'm going to talk to you about. Number one is a powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Powerful anointing against demons and Satan. And that's why Jesus said, you have the key. You have the key. If there's any demon, there is Satan, any evil spirit there tormenting your life, tonight we bind that devil. Tonight we bind that demon. And then we send them out of your life. They are gone. I said they are gone. We send them out in Jesus' name. Powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, prevailing authority over disease and sickness. Sicknesses are going away here tonight. Anywhere that sickness is, any corner that thing is, we're going to open the door and we'll sweep everything out of your life. You're going to be free. I said you're going to be free. I am going to be free. I said, I am going to be free. I said, I am going to be free. You're free in Jesus' name. Prevailing authority over disease and sickness. And now number three, this is yours. I said, this is yours. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. Personal assurance. Personal assurance. You know, somebody has a key. And the car is there. And he has the key in his hand. As he's walking to the car to open that door of the car. It's not in any doubt. Because it's the key that gives the confidence. It's the key that gives the assurance. And if you ask him, where are you going? He says, I'm going from here. And I'm going to there. How do you know you are going to get there? It's the key. It's the key. Once the key is there, you'll travel anywhere you want to travel to. You'll get anything you want to have because it says, here is the key. I give the keys of the kingdom unto you. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth is loosed in heaven. I used to think somebody can disturb me, but now I understand the key is in my hand. I said the key is in my hand. I used to think that somebody can hinder me from getting to where I want to go. The key of the car is not in their hand. It is in my hand. And once I get there, you know, all those people, they stand in the way. And they don't have the key. And as they stand there, I enter. They're looking at me. They say, you're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I have the key in my hand. And then I close the door. And I put the key in the ignition. And he says, you're not going anywhere. You're not going I say, get, get out of that place. I say, get out of that place. Because if they don't get out of that place, I will get to where I'm going. But their legs may break. I said, their legs may break. You have the key in your hand and anybody that says you will not go somewhere, say, please get out of that place because if you don't get out of that place, your legs may break. I don't want to break your leg. Get out because I'm going there. I said I am going there. I said I am going there. I see you arriving already. I see you there already. And I see you are going to succeed. You will succeed in Jesus' name. Personal assurance of deliverance and salvation. You are sure tonight. I said you are sure tonight. Nothing will hinder you. Nothing will stop you. Blessing is going to flow into your life. Showers of blessing. Anything you name tonight, anything you claim tonight, it has come. I said it has come. Where has it come? I said where has it come? I come to you right there. Number one, now, number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Let's come back to this chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 18. It says, Very I say unto you, and you say, Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Begin to think about what we're going to bind tonight. That thing will go. That thing will go. 
I begin to put them down. Everything you bind today, everything you send away from your life today, everything is going away from your life. Bad luck cannot remain again. If you say bad luck, tonight is the last night here. And barrenness cannot remain. Once you say barrenness, I, I didn't know I had the authority. I was waiting for somebody to come and help me drive you out. Now I got the key tonight. I said, now I got the key tonight. Somebody there I said, I got the key tonight. And whatsoever I bind on earth, it is bound in heaven. You will not cry again. You will not weep again. No sorrow anymore. Because whatsoever. Everybody say whatsoever. Ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever, whatsoever, ye shall loose on earth, shall be loosed in heaven. I want to show you in Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9, this key that the Lord has given. The key, the key. Help me shout, the key. What do you have tonight? What do you possess tonight? What are you going to use tonight? The key. And once we mention your problem, at the end of the meeting, I thank God your doors are opening. I thank God prosperity is coming your way. Health is coming your way. Forget about uh, that extra because we open the door tonight, you enter into health. And you enter into soundness in your body in Jesus' name. Look at Luke chapter 9. I'm looking at verses, uh, verses 1 and 2. Then he called his 12 disciples together. And he gave them power and authority. He gave them power and authority. That's the key. That's the key. He gave them power and authority. There is power here tonight. To heal every sickness. And to drive out every demon. Power and authority over all devils. And to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. The power against demon and the power against Satan. Look at chapter 10. In chapter 10 verse 17. And the 17 returned again with what disappointment. What are you going to return home today with? Joy of a miracle. And the joy of deliverance. And the joy of blessing. And the joy of the showers upon your life is happening already. As I said, it's happening already. That thing that tied you up as if, you know, your heart, no liberty. Your spirit, no liberty. Your body, no liberty. You're even loose right now. I said, you're even loose right now. Look at that, look at that. In that chapter, in that chapter 10 and verse 17, it says, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. The other key, the name of Jesus. And he said, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Look at verse 18. And he said unto them, he said unto them, I beheld, tell me, Satan, as lightning fall from heaven. When they went out, John at the key, Peter at the key, Matthew at the key, everywhere they went, everybody, nobody said, ah, you got victory, I didn't have victory. You got victory, I didn't have victory. Every one of them, 70, they returned. And this one said, I had the victory. This one said, I had the victory. This one said, I had the victory. Who is the next one? This one said, I have the victory. That one said, I have the victory. No failure. No disappointment. Everybody returned with joy. I see that joy on your face. I see that joy in your family. You will return with joy tonight. And then you will say, my brother, I got something. My brother, I got a miracle. My sister, I got a miracle. You are going to share your testimony. And then it says, I beheld Satan fall as lightning. And then it says, now I'm going to give you a greater key. They got the key. That's why they went out. And that's why they had success. Look at verse 19. And behold, I give unto you. I give unto you. I give unto you. Power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power. Over what percentage of the power? What proportion of the power? What fraction of the power? What do you think that somebody has another power somewhere? 
that can touch your life, that can hinder your life, that can hinder your progress, that can make you feel there's no, that power does not exist. If you know you are going to succeed, I say from tonight, that power does not exist to make you fail. Some, somebody having power to cut short your life, when you have a key, the key is in your hand. The key of long life, where is it? It's in your hand there. And the key of prosperity, where is it? It's in your hand. And the key of a good family and a good marriage, where is it? It's the key of your family in somebody else's hand. Uh, uh, I, give you, uh, I give you power. And then it says to tread upon serpents and upon scorpions. Then it says, and nothing, that's me. And nothing, that's mine. Something is going to happen to you today. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. What does that mean? It means that uh, if they put uh, something there, shackle, and you didn't know, and you sat down there and they said, we we'll caught him, we we'll caught him. They'll be looking at you when you're going to fall down, and then the more you sit on that thing, the stronger you are. And then they gave you something to drink, and you didn't know. You say, thank you very much, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. And you drank everything. They said, ah, we got him. He's going to die. And then the following day you came, you couldn't run before, you start running. They say, he's even stronger, because he has the key. Somebody there has the key. I said, somebody there has the key. And nothing from the village, and nothing from the forest, and nothing from anywhere will be able to hurt you in Jesus' name. Your promotion is coming. And that promotion will get to you. And you will rejoice in that promotion. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Because a great thing is going to happen to you. A wonderful thing is going to happen unto you. We're looking at Luke chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 11. Luke chapter 13. And we're reading from verse 11. And behold, there was a woman. Any woman here today? Any woman there today is coming to you. There was a woman which had the spirit of infirmity 18 years. Long time, long time. And was bowed together. And could in no wise lift up herself. When Jesus saw her, when you are there, Jesus, I see you today. The master, I see you today. When he saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. Cancer is dried up. Ulcer is healed. All that a kidney problem tonight is gone. Madness is gone from your family. He says, woman, thou art loose from thine infirmity. And he laid his hands on her. And tell me the next word there. I said, tell me the next word there. Immediately, she was made straight and glorified God. That's you tonight. Number one, powerful anointing against demons and Satan. Number two, number two, prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses prevailing authority over disease and sicknesses and we're coming back to matthew in matthew chapter 16 matthew chapter 16 i'm reading here from verse 19 matthew chapter 16 and we're reading from verse 19 it says and i will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever and whatsoever, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look up there. Now, you know, when you have the key, and you always open the door, you always open the door, and then your child, maybe your child was born, in the family, and then three years now, four years now, five years now, and you just came back from wherever, and your child is there, and the child always expects that daddy will get out of the car, and he will go and open the door, and will come in, and now you just say, now, you take the key, 
He has never done that before. This is the first time. And then go and open the door. I'm waiting here. And bring this and bring this. And then the boy takes that key. Only five years of age. And he puts in there. The door does not know the age of anybody. All he knows is the door responds to the key. Not to the age. The door responds to the key, not to the maturity. And that little boy puts in the key, turns it like this. Wow, it turns. It, it pushes down the thing and the door opens. You know, tonight, I've been opening the door. It's now your turn. And the key does not know age. The key does not know title. The key does not know that your GS or your pastor or your evangelist is the key that matters. And the same key I pass on to you. The same key that Jesus Christ had been using to heal the sick and to open the eyes of the blind and to make the lame to walk. He said, Peter, guess what's happening? The same key I've been using is the key of the kingdom. There's no other key. It's the key of the kingdom. Peter, I give this unto you. Me? Having the same key that Jesus had. That's why when Jesus walked 